Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to be talking to you all about Luminar Neo, what's new, what's exciting, what's happening and what's changing in this software. Now there is one thing I can actually show you today because I have the beta version which we're going to get into and I'm going to show you how it works, what it does and what it's all about but I'm also going to be sharing with you some of their future plans and some of the changes that are happening in Luminar Neo in the next couple of weeks. So um, come on, let's get into it and I'll show you what it's all about. So here I am now in Luminar Neo. Now, as you can see, there is a studio light option here in the essentials panel. So if I click on that, it's going to open out the options. There's the amount slider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whack this up full blast so you can see the effect straight away. There are all these little dots speckled across our model. Now the one thing you'll notice is they're on our forearm here, not on the top and not down here and not down here. They're also not on the back of the arm and they're not on the back of the head or here. So there's a bit of 3D mapping going into this. Now there is an option here to place the depth center. So if I click on that, I can actually move this around now and you can see it's actually sculpting the light to suit the contours of our face and going around her arm. So if I bring it up here or if I bring it down here, the light is changing. As I bring it more down here, you can see the light is impacting it on this side and here on the side of her arm, but it's not the top of her arm. That, that's really cool. And that is incredibly impressive. So this is, like you can even see inside here now, there is no sign of those dots. And there's no sign of those dots because it knows if the light is coming in here from this side, that it's actually not going to be shining in through here because the hair is going to be blocking it. So as I say, I'm happy enough with that there. There's just a few little light specks across the face, across the hair, across the arms. Now this is still a bit strong. What I can do is I can just pull this down if I want, just to adjust the effect slightly, or I can introduce it a bit more. I'm only showing this just purely for demonstration purposes. So the first thing you can do here really, I suppose, is the pattern. You can go for strips. So there's actually going to be lines running across, as you can see across the arm here, or we can go for dots. But apparently there's gonna be a lot more options coming out in this going forward. The next thing then is the texture scale. So as you can see in the dots, if you look at the size of the dots, the dots are getting smaller and smaller and smaller as I pull back along. And it looks like it's actually being shot through something like a honeycomb filter or something as such. So you can bring that way down really fine and bring it up to whatever you want. If I whack it up to let's say, maybe somewhere around there now, and you're kind of going, all right, that looks cool enough. You can adjust the texture angle vertically, so you can move it up and move it down vertically, and you can adjust it horizontally too as well. So if there was particular like stripes there now or something else, or other effects coming forward, you can adjust that. You can also adjust the depth then too as well. So if I pull that back along, here and bring it back up along again to there. The one thing you notice on the bottom here then is the exposure slider. So if I catch that and adjust that up and down, it will adjust the overall exposure, but it will not adjust the new studio light effect that's after being popped in. That's gonna stay roughly around the same exposure, but this is gonna pull up the, the underlying exposure or the original image. It's gonna brighten or darken that for you. Now you can do some really cool things with this too as well. You can get the red color and let's say I can bring that up and then I can get the blue and I can bring that up and you say oh look I want something a bit more kind of purpley and you say oh I really like that but what I need to do is just bring it down a small little bit and actually no I don't like dots I'm going to go here for stripes and you say right and just pull this back a small bit and you say ah oh, that's kind of what I'm looking at there now. And again, this is only just purely, for example, I wouldn't use this necessarily on this photograph, but it's just purely to show you what you can do going forward with this software. So that's basically Studio Light. What do you think of it? Is it is it something, is it a bit of a gimmick? Is it something you think you'd use? I can see how once this is finessed, and once you get more effects, and once you get more patterns you can superimpose, this could be something really cool and something very handy. And it just means you can adjust an image so incredibly quickly afterwards. And of course, the one thing I should mention this is, this is, so far, is for people and people only. It's not adjusting the background. And you might say, oh my god, I also wanted to adjust the background. Well, hey, come here, just replace the background. Why stick with a white background? You can replace that completely 
in seconds. Now I should also show you the before and after in Studio Light, and this is how you can use it. Never mind the poultry effort I did a while ago where I was just messing around showing you how to use it. These are the sort of effects that the team over at Luminar Neo believe you're going to be able to get. So here we go. Before is on the left, after is on the right. There's also masking controls in this. So if you only want the light to hit around the hair in that shape and whatnot, you can remove it from every other part of the image. So that's that's going to be blooming handy too as well. Studio Light is going to be available and is going to be delivered on the 31st of August 2023. This option is coming to you soon. Let's see what else is new, what else is exciting, and what else is coming out really soon from Skylab. There's a few more bits I want to show you here. So the next new feature I want to talk to you about is Generase. Now what's Generase? Let's have a look at a photograph here and it's going to show us. It's going to erase specific elements, distracting elements in your image, and it's going to generate new parts for you. Now, how well is this going to work? I honestly don't know. I haven't seen it yet. For this example, now you see a person taking a photograph inside in a Jeep while on safari, and there's people in the way, there's bits of the Jeep and everything in the way, too as well above and top, and the before images on the left, you can see the person is there, bits of the Jeep and everything else they say. And then afterwards, it's a nice clean image because it has generated the trees, it has generated the foreground, it has generated the sky too as well, the bits that are missing. And that is just mind blowing. I'm, I'm really interested to see how this is going to work. And this is all done through AI and it's sort of a generative fill, I suppose, to a certain extent. Even though it's not a fill, it's a generase. And the next example is more or less the same thing too as well. It'll actually delete the trucks and the cars and everything else from the image and just leave the elephant there on its own. Again, I'm really curious to try this, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And again, with this one, what it's going to do is it is going to delete the canopy over the hammock because it's just a bit distracting. It just doesn't look right. But it's going to generate the trees, fill all that in for you. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly baffled as to how it's going to do all this, but look, we'll see. Let's go to the next one. So the next one is called Scene Expand. And this is going to help you expand your canvas or your screen. So it's going to expand your photograph for you. Now, how is it going to do that? We'll take this photograph, for example, which was supplied to me by the Luminar Neo team, just, just to give you an idea what this can do. Let's have a look and see. So this is the original image. So if we go to what it's going to do for us, that's what it's going to do for us. And that is frightening. That has just completely transformed that image. And you're going, what? It's put rocks in here. It's continued mountains on over here. And that looks very believable. That genuinely does look very believable. Again, I haven't used any of this myself. And this is just what, this, this is what I've been sent by Skylam on what's coming out and what's happening. And it, 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 it's kind of blowing my mind, being honest. <laughs> so you can see the before and after here now. So the top is the before and after is the below. And you're going, Wow, that's nuts. That is completely nuts. And if we go back to the original image, you can see there is no rock here. If you look at that road coming in along here, and then we go to the next photograph, that road coming in along here, and next thing all of a sudden there's this big rock here, which wasn't there in the original. But that's 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 nuts. You know how it just generates this stuff and fills it in, and it does it so blooming convincingly by the looks of things. Again, I haven't seen this, but I'm looking forward to seeing, it, seeing this in action. So this is Scene Expand. The next new feature is Scene Swap. Scene Swap will replace elements like the sky or foreground with AI generated elements. Take this photograph, for example. So this is the before and this is the after. So as you can see, before there's no B there and afterwards you can pop a B in along. So the other one then they've given me in this example is this one. So the before and after. Now if you're looking at this and saying, what's the difference? It genuinely did take me a small bit of time. And I know it's quite embarrassing as a fashion photographer, but I never noticed her dress. Her dress is completely different. Look at it here. Look here. Look at the length. It's just, it is completely different. So again, you can replace different parts of your image with different AI generated elements. Again, I'm really looking forward to seeing this work. It's kind of scary, but also kind of interesting. So this is bringing us to the second last new one. And the second last new one is Water Enhancer. So Water Enhancer is going to basically just enhance the color, quality, and look of the water. So this is a classical example. You might have been shooting after a serious amount of rainfall the day before. The water is brown and dirty and it just doesn't look very nice. Well, 
pop it into Lumen or Neo, run it through water enhancer, and it's going to take the brown out of the water and make it blue. So that's, that's really interesting. And again, with this one here too as well, the water before and the water after. So it is just completely transforming your image, which is, is, is kind of nuts really. And again, the last one, water before and water after. And again, massive change. So the very last feature then is Neon and Glow. And Neon and Glow, as you can see the image here beforehand, there's a lovely silhouette with a bit of flash or lighting in, light in front and the person is standing out. So here's the before and here's the after. You can see just added in a neon orb into the image. Really cool, nice effect. You can go nuts with it. You can paint birds. Like that's before and afterwards. And I'm just thinking YouTube thumbnails. This is going to really make them pop to a certain extent, isn't it? Like there's go there are going to be uses for this. It maybe isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I still think it's kind of cool. But like, look at this now. That just really makes that stand out. And it gives it a really alternative edge. The fact that the neon and everything is going behind the person, behind the model, and then the section in front and it's popping a bit more with colour, that's just, that's, that's really cool and very interesting. So well done, Skylum. As I mentioned in the video too as well, there's a change in the pricing structure. So do check that out. I'm going to put a link in the description down below with a link to my blog post. And in that blog post, you're going to have all the details. And I'll be updating that on a regular basis. There is an early bird offer from the 16th to the 27th of August, I think it is. So check that out if you're interested. And the other thing I should mention too as well is my Luminar Neo discount code still works, so it will still save you money. So yeah, that's the latest news for Luminar Neo. What do you think? Is this good news? Is it bad news? Are you going to use these bits of software? Do you think this is all becoming a bit of an AI joke that you're not taking part in? Or what's your belief on all this photography editing software? So come on, yeah, let me know in the comments down below and uh, see you out there and mind yourselves, everyone.